Before we dive into what could have happened, let's take a look at why Snape's attached for Lily was so important to the story. Severus Snape spent the majority of his life in love with Lily. It's easy to understand why Snape, who had an unhappy home life as a child, failed hard for the first person to show him love and kindness. If it wasn't for Snape's love for Lily, it could be suggested that the story of Harry Potter would have looked completely different. Snape's actions helped Harry to overthrow Voldemort. It was Snape that persuaded Voldemort to give Lily a chance to save herself. He also protected Harry during his time at school. He risked his life constantly as a double agent. He was the one who was in Dumbledore's plan for Harry. He was the one to ensure Harry had the sword of Gryffindor when he needed it. Finally, Snape gave Harry his memories so that he knew exactly what to do to end Voldemort's life. If Snape hadn't loved Lily, then it's hard to see where his motivation to do good would have come from. Would Snape and Lily still have been friends? Would he have been a Death Eater? Would Voldemort's Horcruxes had been destroyed? And possibly the most important question. Would Harry have survived as a child? And would there ever have been the boy who lived? We're gonna answer all these questions in this video, so let's begin. Would Snape and Lily still have been friends? Snape and Lily might have still been friends in the beginning, even if Snape had not fallen in love with her. Lily brought light and warmth into Snape's life from the moments they met. He was an insulated, lonely child whose magic would have only made him more of an outsider in his hometown of Cockworth. The happiness that he must have felt upon discovering that there was another kid that was just like him can't be ignored. Also as a muggle-born, Lily probably felt different to the rest of her family and Snape would still have been Lily's first exposed to the magical world. He was the person who introduced her to who she really was, so they would still have been friends friends initially. However, without Snape falling for Lily, without their friendship would have survived for as long as it did. Snape had been obsessed with the dark arts from a young age. If Snape hadn't developed any romantic feelings for Lily, a wedge would have been driven between them once they were sorted into their respective houses. Snape would have finally been around people that were more like him. He would have allowed himself to fall in with the wrong crowd more quickly. Keeping Lily on side wouldn't have mattered as much to him. Would Snape have supported Voldemort? Snape kept some company at school and ended up part of Voldemort's inner circle. That all happened even though he loved Lily, who hated dark magic and those who practice it. If Snape's desire for Lily hadn't existed, there would have been even less reason for him to not support Voldemort. Snape would not have been tempted to come into the light and probably would have gone down an even darker and more twisted road. Would he have ever worked for Dumbledore? Snape did eventually turn away from Voldemort. But it wasn't for any noble reason. As soon as he found out that Voldemort was planning to kill Harry and his parents, he met with Dumbledore and begged him to save Lily. While Dumbledore said he would protect the Potters, it was in condition that Snape now worked for him as a double agent. Snape's love for Lily ran so deep that he agreed. When she was still murdered, he decided that her death would not be in vain and that he would protect her son. If Snape had regarded Lily as a friend, he wouldn't have accepted Dumbledore's conditions or worked as a spy. Snape was put in an incredible dangerous position the moment he turned away from Voldemort. He wouldn't have been willing to do that for just anyone. However, it doesn't mean that Dumbledore wouldn't have found another way to recruit Snape. He could be very persuasive. Once Snape was working for Dumbledore, you could see that he did have some influence on him. When Dumbledore was injured by Marvolo Gaunt's ring, Snape's anger at him seemed to come from a place of concern and care. He also seemed to respect Dumbledore even if he didn't always see eye to eye with him. Either way, Snape did demonstrate growth. There was something in Snape that was good, and an incredible intelligent wizard like Dumbledore may have been able to use the small silver of light and turn him. Although with no doubt, it would have been an almost impossible task. Would he have been a professor at Hogwarts? Snape wasn't a natural teacher, he despised so many of his students and seemed to take great pleasure in torturing them. If he hadn't ended up being Dumbledore's spy, there is a good chance that he would never have worked in the Hogwarts dungeons as a teacher. Instead, Snape would have lost himself in studying and practicing dark magic. He could have spent all his time working for Voldemort as a Death Eater, and it's possible that he would never have considered returning to the school where he was bullied. Would Harry have died as a baby? When Snape heard the prophecy and pleaded with Voldemort to spare Lily's life, he might have caused his downfall. While we know Voldemort killed Lily, he did give her a choice. If she stepped aside and allowed him to murder Harry, he would spare her. If Voldemort hadn't given her a choice, then Harry wouldn't have been protected, probably would have died and the curse wouldn't have rebounded. 
so without Snape loving Lily, there would have been a strong possibility that Harry would have died as a baby. But if Harry did survive that night, would he have been able to complete the Horcrux hand? When Harry discovered the sword of Gryffindor in a frozen pool in the forest of Dean, his Horcrux hunting priors had been answered. The sword was the perfect tool for destroying the pieces of Voldemort's soul. Though if it wasn't for Snape, the sword might have remained out of Harry's reach. It was Snape who placed the sword there for Harry to discover and ensured that it was under the conditions of need and valor. Now if he had never loved Lily, he would probably have never felt forced to look out for Harry. He would probably not have been the person to give Harry the tool he needed to destroy Voldemort, especially if he was still a Death Eater. Now it doesn't mean that Harry wouldn't have ended up with a sword at all. It's supposed to appear to those true Gryffindors that are worthy of it. Something Harry did before, when he pulled it out of the Sorting Heart in his second year. So with that in mind, Harry's Hawkox hand may have been delayed, but he would still have been able to eventually gather what he needed to ensure Voldemort's death. That was all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this theory about Severus Snape. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again in a new video.